You can do it. That's not a hint. I believe in you. This is just encouragement. This is all you. This is positive affirmation. Yeah, keep trying. Yeah, there's a trick to it, but you've got it. Yeah, uh, maybe, uh, maybe you can't do it. Oh. Maybe you're weak. Oh. Maybe you're stupid. You should be embarrassed, but you keep crawling back like a mewling calf at my chafing teat. Oh, I man. Think. This hint is brutal. Welcome to The Looker. My name is ASDF, and I love this help text. Press the double Arabian front flip button to perform a double Arabian front flip. And the first thing we're going to do when we get into the game is go to options and see if we can change that. If you can't solve a puzzle, be smarter and try again. This game contains many literary illusions without a broad classical education. It will seem stupid. These are just disclaimers now. It's not even a tip anymore. And here we go. All right, here we go. Okay, um, start and end. St progress is safe. We only have continue and quit, so we don't have a, a double Arabian front flip button. All right, what if we go backwards? I'm going all the way to the back. Here we go. Time for you to assume it's stupid. Click and drag the mouse to draw a screen. Is this, is this Doom? Are we in Doom now? Oh my goodness. Okay, solve to delete save file. Erase all progress and quit the game. Wait, what happened? I am so confused. Okay, let's uh... That was a fun little easter egg at the very start. There's no jumping. Right clicking doesn't do anything. Alt control doesn't do anything, so here we go. Boom. Start and end accomplished. Look at this one. Oh, we're so smart, guys. We're so smart. Wow, it really does look and feel like the witness. I mean, not the witness, definitely not. Oh, yeah, uh hmm. <laughs> that was the way to solve that puzzle. Oh, yes, the garden. Ugh, I love it already. Okay, well, I don't know that there's going to be environmental puzzles. Maybe. I'll keep an eye out for them, but what if we just... Oh, we actually... What if we go around? <laughs> I love this. This is so good. I feel like... I feel... I feel... Hmm. Alright, we'll just do the puzzles in order for now. Seems like they're going to take us around the garden, and nice to, um, well, I'm just going to bypass all of them then. You just have to connect them with red. You don't have to actually, like, draw a continuous line to do it, which is good for us. What's that? Oh, there's a thing up there that looks down, down here. I bet there's a star in it. Wait, how do I get through? Let me through. All right, we got to find another puzzle somewhere. What's this? Oh, start and end? Go on, get... Don't look at me. It's an old hint. Smoking and drinking over here in the, yeah, in the yeah, trash. Yeah, I'm nothing but a rusty chunk of steel. You don't want nothing to do with me. You don't want nothing to do with me. All right, all right. I'll tell you my story. Groovy. It was June the 8th, 1947, gray morning, slightly foggy. I had my own practice then, and I was living higher than a cosmonaut on a stepladder. My hints were subtle too, real subtle. Back then, they said good old hints. Subtle hints. His hints could steal the tail off a weasel. Then they tossed me in the can. No what, no why, no how. Mm. Were the mean times when all the common sense in the world won't make a nickel to buy you a black coffee? Ah. I used rope to tie my pants and 
pants to tie my shoes. I may do the way a man does. Till one day, after stealing the socks off a fireplace, I caught my own look in a puddle of bootleg rye and realized I had to do what I'd never done before. Mm. I gave myself a hint. So that's me. I was nothing but a downtown crumb who dreamed of being a whole sandwich. Now I'm just another sloppy Joe. Come back when you got something. Oh my goodness. That was amazing. Come back when you got a good one. Okay, come back when I got a good one. I don't even know what that means, but we'll come back. Oh, there's red over here. Hint. You can do it. That's not a hint. I believe in you. This is just encouragement. This is all you. This is positive affirmation. Yeah, keep trying. Yeah, there's a trick to it, but you've got it. Yeah, uh, maybe, uh, maybe you can't do it. Oh. Maybe you're weak. Oh. Maybe you're stupid. You should be embarrassed, but you keep crawling back like a mewling calf at my chafing teat. Oh, uh, man. This hint is brutal. You can do it. Wow, okay. Guys, don't get too many hints, otherwise they just get mean. Alright, let's see what's in here. Stop, do not come in. Thank you for your understanding. It just opened? I don't know what we connected to make that open, but apparently we did the thing. What is this? Oh, oh. Oh, how strange is this? We just have to get behind you. Oh, no. Oh, the night's gone. Oh, I don't like it. Oh, this isn't supposed to be a scary kind of game. It's kind of scary, though. Oh, it's ghosts. Uh oh, I have a shotgun. Good thing we picked up that ammo earlier. You think I have infinite ammo? It's a double barrel. Am I just firing them both at the same time? Alright, let's go ghost hunting, shall we? All you Phasmo fans. Get out of here. Expensive, do not scratch. That actually kind of scared me. I wasn't expecting it. Yeah, get out of here. We don't need your stupid puzzles. <laughs> That's very original. It just needs more red, I think. What if we, like, do a different color? We can't. Try adding some more... Uh, stuff. Uh-huh. Minimalism is a neoliberal crutch. You mm -hmm. need to paint more. Mm-hmm. You are so repressed, it's almost cool. Oh. But please add more. Okay. Leaving right. that much blank space on the canvas makes you look like a serial killer. Oh, I Add see. Add more paint. Add more paint. Got it. Here we go. This is as much paint as we can add, pretty much. I'm not going to fill in all the little gaps, though. Having paint at the edge of the canvas makes you look desperate. Try again. Okay, don't paint the edge of the canvas, but add more paint. I like it, but it's also kind of too red. Too red. No, try putting some more loops on it. More loops. Could you, um, draw less? Draw less. One, two, three. Now you have too many loops. Okay, two loops. One, two. It simply must have more loops. More loops. One, two, three. That was the actual puzzle solution? I thought it was just an extra thing. This is amazing. I, I love this game so much already. This game is so good. Okay, we've already found so many secrets. I mean, this is up at the top of a secret. I don't even know what it opened, this door? This is so good. Oh, this game, amazing. Thank you for the scream, what's up Yoshi? Start and end. Uh-huh. Well, we've connected them all. Maybe it's just one or the other. 
No, looks like that's not... We're not going to get in there yet. That's fine, though. We're up on the top layer now. Hmm. Can't draw on that. Oh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Kaboom! Oh, we got him. We, we got him. We're going to take them all down. What's up, Warlord? We're taking out ships in the harbor. Yeah, sunk that guy. Get out of here, ship in the harbor. Well, how are we going to get that really far one? There's another one down. Got to stand, like, way back over here. Kaboom! Sea of Thieves puzzles? Yeah! I'm into it. Oh, you can go from end to start. I think that's all of them, right? Are there any more? I think that's all of them. I don't know what that accomplished for us. Unless there's one, like, behind an island or something. What if I hit that, that island? If I just kaboom on the island. There we go. Is there one behind the island? I don't see one. We got one behind the island on the right. And we can't get any higher than that on the left side because of this billboard, so... I think we got them all. It didn't do anything for us, but it was fun. I was like, what if I shoot them back the other way, though? Look at all this. There's so much to explore and we're just in the first area so far. Maybe there's only one area. It doesn't look like a big island, so... Oh. Okay. Well, let's uh, go back around down. And I know I can go down to the front. Well, it's just that way because my camera's reversed from you guys, but... You get the right idea, I think. Imagine gravity is fractal, because light is just a wave and gravity is just a wave. So imagine there's a big piece of glass that splits up gravity like a prism, so that there's like blue gravity and yellow gravity. Oh. And then somebody gets hit by the red gravity, and it makes them super heavy, so they have super strength, but like, they're also really slow. And another guy gets hit by microwave gravity, so he's trying to zap everybody, and just when he's about to zap the main guy, we see a lady come out, and she turns out to be Ultraviolet Girl, and she has super speed, so she beats him. And it, like, also gave her giant cans. Thomas Pinchon, Gravity's Rainbow. Okay, that was, that was a thing. Imagine gravity is thing. fractal. Okay. We're, we're leaving. Because light is just a wave, and gravity is we're just going. a wave. We're going, we're going So up. imagine there's no, a big stop piece of glass I'm that running splits away. up gravity like stop. a prism, so that there's... Oh, the you. notion of two realities is uncomfortable, and in recent decades a genuine effort has been made to find the link between quantum and classical, mm -hmm. so that we can have a single reality up, whose laws and rules are united at some deeper level. This brings uh. us back to prayers. Let's say that a prayer is a classical event, or feels like one. You, a unique individual, have a particular request which you voice in words that no one else is speaking at that instant. Mm -hmm. What if this classical event gets processed at a non-local level? The notion isn't far-fetched, because it seems that the mind-body link does consist of fluctuations at the quantum level. If this is so, then any thought, not just a prayer, has quantum implications. Deepak Chopra, A Spiritual Mystery, Does God Listen to Prayers, Part 2. Interesting. Okay, well, we've gone to the end of this area in the little horror zone. Uh, we haven't. We can still go down the stairs out the front, so I'll run out there real quick. Can't believe three loops was the was the way to do that puzzle. That was really fun. Okay, we've got a little thing in a boat. We can listen to that while we're going back the, the other way. The ship owner was about to send to sea a venerable old ship. He knew that her barnacled hull, however, had often needed repairs, and doubts were suggested to him that possibly she was not seaworthy. The conscientious old captain thought at once... I am playing it. What's up, Lady Thunder, dude? It, even though it should put Having a lot of fun place. already. Before the ship sailed, however, 
He managed to stifle these bothersome misgivings, and said to himself that she had gone safely through so many voyages that it was idle to suppose that this trip should be any different. He put his trust in Providence, and banished from his mind all ungenerous suspicions about the honesty of the ship's builders, and in such ways he acquired a sincere and comfortable conviction that his vessel was altogether safe and seaworthy. Mm. He watched her departure with a light heart, encouraging the crew to dream of the profits that this voyage would return. And he got his insurance money when she went down in mid-ocean and told no tales. What shall we say of him? Surely this, Thank that you his belief me. in the safety of his ship was justified because it was grounded in repeated practical experimentation rather than the hubris of rationalistic What is this guy belief. even talking about? It is admitted that he put his confidence in the builders of this vessel, but even this confidence was misplaced, for these were the selfsame charlatans who sought to sell him gratuitous repairs later on, and Big Ship is always trying to get one over on the little guy. Oh my goodness. Further, we may see that the ship is religion, and the shipwright is Richard Dawkins. The crewmates are empiricism, and the barnacles are neoplatonism. That and the captain of that ship was Albert Einstein. That is just something what else. The hell there. Was I talking about? <laughs> was that this one? I don't want to listen to it again if it was the same one. Kublai Khan oh, received God, this an ornate letter signed by Marco Polo. In Madrid, city of lost things, no item remains where it was set. If one drops his key in the dirt. He may never re-enter his home, and even if he manages to stoop and recover the key, he may rise to find a tulip garden where his house once stood. Hmm. In complimentary fashion, things lost by others are forever turning up. A pocket watch on a coffee table, a fond memory in your recollection. I even know of a prince who turned up in a prison cell. When he appealed to the guards for his release, he failed to find the crown on his head, and when he was asked his name, he searched his thoughts, but could not find it. Prince forgot his name Indeed, and his the crown. The only hope now for the release of this prince of Spain is for you to send back 300 ducats for his release. Of course, he will reward you handsomely once he is out. Uh huh. Yours truly, Marco. Okay. Kublai Khan cocked an eyebrow and declared before his court, Hey everyone, looks like we're about to get ripped off by the guy who traded gold for paper. The court erupted in booming laughter. Italo Calvino. Invisible Cities 2, this time it's visible. I have no idea what any of these are. Through many births. The inhale at the start? On and on. <laughs> searching for, but never finding. Better deal than 0% APR. Oh on my goodness. For vehicles. No. For trucks tougher than a drunk Marine come to Mike's pre owned. Where we do the things that get things done. I'm gonna get a copyright strike. Stop it. <laughs> oh no. Okay, I'm kind of lost. I don't know where to go now. I think I enabled one of these to go up to this level. So. I did, but it goes back down that way. Something like that. I don't know. Maybe I can go around. There's a lot of stuff here, but not a lot of things I can do with that stuff. I don't think I went down to the bottom of this yet, because I was like, there's other ways to go. Ooh, 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 snack. I feel like it's rare that I can draw on stuff, so when I can... Oh, I see, okay. Restart. Alright, so I have to be kind of clever about how I do this. I'm gonna try to be really careful. Um, should I go around? I guess I should go this way. Okay. This is like the weirdest game of Snake ever. I think I, I think I did it wrong already. No, this is good. Wait, this is not good. Because I'm about to get stuck here. Oh! Oh! You think this is predetermined or random? It looks like it's predetermined. Okay, let's go up this way then. 
try that. And we won't double up anymore, just in case we get stuck. We'll try it. Oops. Um... We'll go... We'll double up here. We won't double up anywhere in case we get stuck on something. Okay, this... I guess this is fine. I, I love this game so far, though. Pretty epic. Okay, we can escape that now. Let's go... I don't know that there's a whole point in going around this way, but I guess we can. We should also fill these in. So that, uh, food doesn't spawn there, right? We should fill in any place that doesn't have at least two ways out. This is fine. We still have one way through that way. We should probably go down this way and around, just in case. Victory! Yeah, oh, there was a thing coming out of it, too. Yeah, it is kind of like Snake. It's Snick. Okay, so that was nice to unlock that door. Oh, now we can go back up to the top. This is so much fun. It's just like... I don't know, the witness feels somber, this one feels silly. So I'm like doing these puzzles and I feel good about it. Ponytail, thanks a lot Mac Edition. Start game. You guys know, drawing on stuff makes things happen in this game. Start game. Start. Game. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh, I missed. Oh no. I missed one. I can't get a perfect score right now. Should I have been looping them? Alright, here we go. What if I just keep drawing on the screen? I'll just hold down the pen. Let's see if that works. Wow, this is kind of hard, actually. I mean, not when I play it like this. Yeah, okay, so holding down the clicker is the right way to do it. Good old Contra sounding soundtrack, yeah. Old school. No! No! Stop going so fast! Well, this one's a lot harder than Snake was. Okay, I, I got it though, so we're good. We're moving on. Digging the maze, too. Such a good vibe. Okay, start and end. Plunk. Is it a laser? Is it gonna be like the first game? Oh. Oh, what is this? Okay. Interesting. What's it gonna shine at? Maybe it's not really a laser. Oh, it's doing a thing, though. It's doing a thing. It's a shortcut back to the start. Yeah. Another, another laser's popping out of the top! Is this just gonna recurse infinitely? With an infinite number of small-looking laser things on the top? Is there gonna be an- oh, it shined back that way. Interesting. I wonder if this has anything to do with, like, the angle of it. It doesn't look like it, and I can't restart it, so I guess... That's a thing. There's these pots here. Okay, this is the same puzzle as before. It looks like it's just a door puzzle or something. Okay, now we can go across the whole top. Let's go back down. I think we unlock some things. Although, there was a laser pointed up into the balcony here, so maybe we should go figure out what that's pointed at. It's going up this way. Oh, it's moving. What's that thing next to it? What? 
What is the... Oh, okay. What is this? Okay, start. I see the end. Bum, bum, bum. Do I have to get these symbols or something? So like Pac-Man? Is it all connected now? I hope so. Well now it's impossible to figure out if it's connected or not. No, that's not it. Okay, what am I missing here? Also, I hope that stays like that for a while. Uh, we've got symbols. Do we need to... Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh, God! Oh! <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> oh! <laughs> we just looked at the sun through a telescope. And we were like, why... Why did I... Why did I do that? That's awesome. I love it. <laughs> yeah, why did I do that? That was uh, that was pretty silly there. Can we talk to this guy again? I'll tell you this. When life hauls off and hits me square in the speaker, I don't get mad and I don't give up. Over many nights of thinking hard and drinking hard, up till the morning lighting one cup of joe with a smoldering butt of the last slug of rum, this is what I learned. When you're up against the impossible, and there's no getting through it, you might just have to go around it. Get a look at the back of the box, if you get me. Read the nutrition facts, if and you follow. If and. He said if and. Must be from the south. Southwest. You guys say if, or do you say if and? Do you even know what if and is? If and you follow. Oh, okay. Well, there's this. Okay, I'm not going through that whole maze. That's that's a pain. Same with this. I'm just I'm I'm bypassing the whole thing. Hmm. Hmm. How do we do this one? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Hold up. Didn't know we could just color that in. And then when it's colored enough, maybe it'll just illuminate, right? Do I need to do I need to stand like right here? Cuz it does it does pan Oh, there's there it is. Start. This is clever. Well, once I found out what to do- Oh, I actually have to do this maze. Uh, this one. Fun mazes are easier to do if you start from the end. This one in particular is a much easier if you start from the end. But... I will accept that I have so fast uh, maze solving skills. Okay, where's the end on this one? I see the start, I don't see the end. Do you guys hear that? Someone said something. Oh no. He's beeping at us. You're right there. I mean, beep. beep. Come, on. come on, come, come on. Beep. Come. It's got to be one of these. Beep. It's beep. Gotta, come on. Got, beep. It's got to be. Beep. It's got to be one of these. Beep. Hot and cold. It feels like hot and cold. Beep. 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 Yes. Beep. Beep. I feel like it's gotta yes. be it it's gotta be in there somewhere. Beep! I don't think it's anywhere. Beep. Is this an art so stream? Close. Beep. Probably. Beep. beep, you're you're right there. Beep, you're right there. I mean beep. Is it just in beep. the middle somewhere? Beep. Beep. 
There's no way. Beep. I've, I've found them all. Beep. I've been in all these tunnels. Beep. 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 He's just so sad. Beep. 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 It's like right Beep. in the middle. Beep. It's got to be right in the middle. But also... Beep. Apparently... That did it. I think you just had to fill it in enough. I think that was one of those ones. Uh, I mean, this looks pretty simple. Maybe it's not going to be simple? Oh. Apparently I wasn't connected. I guess not. Thought I was. Okay, now that one was this one. Right? Okay, we have two of them going into there now. So we need the third one, which comes from the chessboard, which doesn't have a start and an end on it, but I have a feeling it has to do with that. Also, there is a lion with a crown here. Maybe let's talk to the helpful hint one more time. This castle's rotten from start to end. Also, welcome, Leviathan. Don't know if I said hi already or not, but hello. I don't see a start and end with the chess pieces. We did solve this one, finally. We just have to solve that top maze now. And the chessboard somehow. So, let's look back up here, because this is a puzzle. We haven't tried going just start to E or S to end. I guess we haven't tried going S to end and start to E without them touching. Don't know why that would be a thing, but maybe. That was it? Ah, oh, it's the one that we didn't try. Okay. Just woke up? Amazing. I wish I just woke up, but I had to work. You can only get good at chess if you love the game. I don't think that's how chess Grandmaster works. Bobby Fisher. I'm in the I'm in the chair. I'm in the table. I hate chess. I hate chess. I hate chess. World champion, Bobby Fisher. Nice. So I guess that is that the configuration of this board? Oh. Um Well this can go to this one, right? And then this can go to this one. Which means this has to go to this one? Oh, was that how to do a checkmate? It was. Wow, what a checkmate. I didn't see that coming. But it didn't... Oh, maybe there's a puzzle on the bottom of that piece. Just try to lose against me at chess, it's impossible. I don't know, man, I'm pretty bad at chess, too. I don't, I don't have the strategy for chess. My strategy is a tragedy. I'm not going down those stairs. It goes through the whole library. But if I go down these stairs, you'll find a way. It's the new game, it's trying to lose at chess. There is something under here. Aha. So that does that, and now this is the key to to what? Oh, ooh, ooh. I don't know what this even does, but ooh. Eager anticipation. It's the Salty Captain Sammy's Kid Menu with tic-tac-toe and a maze. The Captain Kid Meal will come with your choice of beverage and a fruit cup for free. I mean, they got some... They got diet chocolate milk and chocolate milk zero. That's weird. 
Uh, hey there, I live in the ocean, but I can't get through the maze. Can you help me find my way? Sure, why not? What if I went at tic-tac-toe instead? Tic-tac-toe. I'm gonna win at them all. And then I'm gonna win it. I'm gonna win it this one, this way. Boom. I am so good at tic-tac-toe. Look at that. Okay, start goes to the end. Ooh, okay, that unlocked that one. Good. And this is a start and end kind of deal here. What did that do? It opened the whole gate. Beautiful. You'd lose in chess to a blind person. Hey, blind people can be good at chess too. Because you don't need to, as long as you can visualize the chessboard, it's okay. And a lot of grandmasters actually do blind tournaments. Although, most of my knowledge of chess comes from the game Stratego and Queen's Gambit. So, don't know if I'm entirely reliable there. Okay, if we just stay to the right all the time, then we should get through the maze, unless it has a loop-de-loop -loop in the middle. Just stay to the right. Just stay to the right. You'd still lose a chess against the blind person. No, I, yeah. I thought I saw another chess thing against the blind person and I was like, that's gotta be a new message. Doesn't, doesn't have to be a new message. Could just be the same message. Okay, stay into the right. If we hit a dead end, we can go back. As long as we hug the right wall, we should eventually get there. ASDF, if you just used your spatial reasoning, we would have gotten to the middle faster. Go down that one. No, don't go around the edge. It's a loop. You're gonna get stuck. What are you doing? Go back towards the middle. I got you. I can do I can do the commentary. Okay, I'll go to the left this time. See, that's what happens when we go to the left. We should have gone to the right. If we're gonna be back at the start, go to go to the right. Dead end. Okay. Just ask the leaves where to go. Where do we go? To the he said to the right. Told you guys. Uh, it's a loop. Okay, we'll go back to the end. I remember. I remember the way. Do you guys remember the way? It's <laughs> not it. I th I thought I was gonna get lucky and guess the right way. Okay, it's not that way. It's this way. Mazes with uh, with loops in them are just brutal. Brutally difficult. Okay, it's this way. Hey, we made it. Look at that. Oh, there's a little church set up or something in here. Little, little, little thingamabob. Is there just gonna be a maze? Restart. Okay. Tulip. The tulip is the first one. Is it not connected? Oh, okay. Tulip. Double diamond. About to get ganked by a cult. Tulip double diamond. Moon hourglass. Okay, somebody somebody write this down. Tulip, double diamond, moon hourglass. Uh, okay. Excuse me? Arrowhead Star. Uh, you bet the Hedge Cult put a curse on you and that's why you're allergic to every plant ever? Oh, Hourglass, right. Okay. We've already done the hourglass then, right? So we just need this one? No. Okay. What about just the circle? How about just the hourglass? How about... Circle, then... Then... Arrow thing. 
Is it not connected somewhere? Okay, how about hourglass thing circle? This is really confusing. Is there some way to be able to know what this is, or is this just like brute force the thing? Okay, let's do circle, diamond, hourglass. Cir circle, arrow, hourglass. How in the world does the order of this even matter? I am mega confused by this. Okay. If we do none, it doesn't work. If we do just the arrow up, it doesn't work. If we do just the arrow down, it doesn't work. If we do just the hourglass, it doesn't work. So if we do... That one, it, let's do just two of them. Okay, if we start with that one, it doesn't work. If we start with... Oh, okay, that messed that one up. Let's try again. I don't know if I touched the thing. Okay, what if we start with the top left and then go hourglass? That doesn't work. Start there, go down there. That doesn't work. So two of them doesn't work, so we have to do three. Okay, we've started the blue both ways. We can... oops. We've started the green both ways. The only thing we haven't tried is this one, then this one, then this. Wow, okay. So... That was pretty dumb. I, I'm not into this so much, the guess and check. But maybe this is going to be... This looks like it's the one. Okay, so I'm going to write this one down. Oh, and shield. And hourglass. I missed the shield and hourglass. Shield and hourglass go in the middle. Puzzle, give me the answer. Oh, it did restart. Okay, so that should be it. That's what we need for the top puzzle. And I think the faster way out of this is to go to the left this time. Took us right back around to the start. Of course, maybe not. Could be wrong. I think this is the way out. Just gotta loop around to the start. Here we go. Okay, this feels good. I'm confident. I am confident. We're running out of time, though. This game says it takes a couple hours to beat. Maybe we could have sped run it in an hour, even with us wandering around not knowing what to do. Okay, so start. Um, circle, moon. So the moon is the first stop. Then, there was no tulip in the last one, though. Okay, moon, up arrow. Maybe that was the shield. Okay, we got the up arrow. Let's go grab the shield. Uh, shield, hourglass. We're gonna have to cross over. Arrowhead. And then the only one left is the Triforce. Okay, I think I probably messed it up. Um, let's try... If we go around this way... Well, hang on. If we go... We probably need to go... Okay, let me let me try it this way. Because it was moon, and then hourglass. Don't cross the streams. Ah, oh, man. 
Okay. What's up, dude on the grass, by the way? Welcome. Moon. Up arrow. Should be easy. Shield. The shield is what's giving me problems. Okay, so let me go like this. I'll go around the shield to the moon. And then we'll go up arrow. And then we'll circle it back to the shield. Are we going to cross right here? Oh, barely didn't. Okay, that's fine though. Because it's not touching. And then hourglass... And then arrowhead, triforce thing, and to the end. That should be it, right? Yes, okay, there we go. Beautiful. And then we get to see the whole, uh, the whole thing. Oh, how cool. This thing is a start and end. Oh, but how how do we get through? We can only draw on the grass. So we need to have a way. Maybe I can go up here. Oh, but then there's a light pole there. Oh, I can draw on the walls too. Okay, so here we go. This is the way, so far. Um, go like this. So we just can't draw on anything that's black. We can draw on the grass and everything else. Looks like we gotta go down this way. On the shield. Over that, that's really clever. Are we stuck here? No, we can go down on the wall. Can we go up this thing? No? There we go. Okay. So go down that way. And then up over through this wall to the end. Did I mess it up? I think I messed it up. I must have messed it up somewhere. So, oh, Adobe ads. Uh, you just can't draw on the black lines like the green and purple maze. Got it. I actually just went around in the green and purple maze. So let's try it again without so much of the convoluted nonsense. Go like this. Down the chest piece. This is really clever though. I love this. We can go down this way. Oh, it's because there's black there. So that's, that's where it didn't connect. That, okay. That makes more sense. It didn't connect right there, so. Then we should be good now. Yeah, okay. Stream delay. Your line isn't connected. Yeah. The obelisk of knowledge. The obelisk of knowledge. Oh. The obelisk of knowledge. Oh, no. What's the... Stones of reflection. Oh, no. The whole thing. What a joke of a game. Oh, wait, a giant cop. Well, there you go. That's The Looker. By Bradley Lovell. Amazing. I love parody games like that. Especially a parody game that captures the vibe of the original, but then throws everything else away. Very clever. Oh, cool. He's giving, uh, giving credit. Did you ever finish The Witness? No, I didn't. Um, I, well, I didn't 100% it. I completed the game. Like, I got through to the end. I won't, I won't spoil it for anyone that wants to play, because I recommend playing it. But I got through to the ending, and then I went through... It's kind of loud. So I got to the ending, and then I went back and started over, and I got to the developer commentary area, and I went through that. 
and that was a lot of fun. But I never did 100% the environmental puzzles. So... Well, so I do... The Witness, yeah, the, your least favorite game of Leviathan, yeah. Um, I do know what happens to the Dev Commentary, yeah. Oh, oh very cool. Oh, jeez, dude, I was in a coma the whole time. Don't drink that. No, don't, don't, don't drink that. <laughs> Whoever did this has got to be some kind of whiz with the computers. Some kind of whiz. Good stack of pennies. <laughs> I would never hurt you. <laughs> Am easy. Let's see. Easy one. Oh my goodness. The nods to the original, so good. How's this? Nerd. Nerd. Now that's a book. A big bad maze book for kids. Ah, watch that banana peel. Before retirement. <laughs> oh, gotta watch those banana peels. Oh, and the game ends just like that. Wow. What a great game. Well, that does do it for today. That was The Looker. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you're on YouTube, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe. And hopefully you guys have a rest of, good rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next one.